Hi, this video explains expectation maximization algorithm. The expectation maximization algorithm is combining various unsupervised machine learning algorithms uh, for uh, clustering the process such as Hamin's clustering algorithm, GMM, Gaussian mixture model clustering algorithms, etc. So, which is having uh, two steps. First one is estimation step. Here, estimate the latent variable values latent variable values uh, by using mean mode standard deviation or parameters from few few random data that means observed features from the observed features it is estimating the values it is estimating the values for latent variable or, or missing values then uh, it is leading to generate the complete data set complete data set so after finding the uh, after uh, estimating the hypothesis then it the the estimated hypothesis to be maximized by optimizing the parameters by optimizing the parameters so here the em algorithm is used to find latent uh, variable values latent variable values are missing data value data variables so here the observed variables are measured whereas unobserved variables are inferred from the observed variables that means observed variables given in the data set that is the meaning of this statement so observed variables x1 x2 these are all given in the data set right suppose uh, uh, the unobserved variable means that will not given in the data set that unobserved variable has to be identified has to be identified from this two feature observed variables so this is unsupervised learning so the label also will not be given label also will not be given so here the from the feature x1 and the x2 we have to identify the label we have to identify the label so this is unobserved variable this is unobserved variable this one is the observed variable so for example if you want to calculate the intelligence then intelligence will not be available so you can say, give some questions to the students or a person then based upon that you can identify the intelligence and also happiness depression personality so these variables are uh, not able to measure directly so you can uh, give some questionnaires like um, uh, question regarding uh, aptitude logical reasoning and uh, technical right so based upon these features you can uh, identify the intelligence of the person so the intelligence is unobserved variable this uh, technical questions aptitude questions and uh, reasonable uh, reason reasoning questions are uh, observed variables so here the expectation maximization is used to local mac, uh, find max uh, local maximum likelihood or maximum a posterior probability value of latent variable okay so when can we use the expectation maxim maximization algorithm whenever our data set is incomplete that means uh, if our data set is having missing data then at that time we can go for the expectation maximization algorithm and if our data set is have not having the labels not having the labels output label then we can go for expectation maximization algorithm so for this what we have to do so first we have to define the latent variables latent variable means unobserved variables for example uh, for example heart disease okay so here for heart disease we will have the table of data here for example i will take uh, two features smoking smoking habit and uh, uh, drinking habit also we can take drinking habit also we can take and uh, one more feature i will take a diet diet so i am taking the three features so here i my aim is i want to calculate the heart disease heart disease is not given in the table okay heart disease is not given in the table this is the label i am going to find out so right heart disease available or not heart disease available or not so the feature smoking habits yes it is given drinking habits uh, yeah yes it is given okay diet not don't no diet 
so like that if if feature values are there okay so now define the latent variable so now latent variable is defined my latent variable is hard disease hard disease okay then uh, there is the parameter available for the parameters uh, we have to assign some values initially initially we have to assign the values to the parameters then with this parameters and this features okay three features are there three features are there with the three features and some parameters theta we have to apply the e step estimation step so here the set of random initial values given to the parameters theta and set of incomplete observed data so observed data also you can uh, take and that is the features features has to be taken that is given in the data set so from the by using this initial parameter values and features you can estimate the values you can estimate the values by using the features then estimate estimated value give you some output give you some output that is the predicted output so which is the predicted output so pred output is predicted for each and every sample then the uh, next step is this output may be having some error this output may be having some error we don't know that so still we have to we want to up, uh, 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 improve the performance for that we can uh, apply some number of iterations so this is iteration number one okay iteration number one we have predicted the output then there is the theta value initially assigned so that can be updated by using the maximization step the parameter theta value can be updated by using the maximization step so this maximization step used to identify the maximum likelihood uh, hypothesis maximum likelihood hypothesis so in the now the theta value is updated then the updated theta value useful for used for the iteration number 2 so in the iteration number 2 okay, so now this theta value is updated then again uh, we are going back so now we are not satisfying with the result so in the iteration number 2 in the iteration number 2 using this uh, theta values and again we are estimating the value with the new theta now we are using the theta new okay so now new theta values and this features same features we are using with the new theta values then we are uh, predicting the output we are predicting the output so here again we are predicting the output in the iteration number two so now predicted so still uh, if, if this predicted output is for example 0 0.5 this predicted output is 0 0.9 still we are not satisfying then we are going for the iteration number three in the iteration number three right so you look at this uh, so this predicted output is in the expectation step then next step is the maximization so in the maximization step what we will do again the the this this theta value again updated again updated again this theta value updated right so this is becoming the now new theta value okay again it is new theta value this new theta value now using for iteration number three iteration number three so with the new theta value in the iteration number three with the already existing features x we will predict the output we will predict the output now you are getting 0 0.8 okay example 0 0.8 so still you look at that here we are getting the 0 0.5 second iteration 0 0.9 third iteration 0 0.8 so still there is the variation in the output so i, I want to go for iteration number 4 so now the 0 0.8 is predicted in the expectation step expectation step so right so i want to update the parameter again i want to update the parameter again in the m step i want to update the parameter right so here again we are calculating the theta nu okay theta nu so then this theta nu will be applied for applied for iteration number four so now theta nu and already existing features x applied for the 
iteration number 4 right so now in the iteration number 4 again we are applying the e step with the new theta value so in the new theta value so now we will calculate for predicted output so in the predicted output if i get 0 0.801 right now again i am comparing the previous output is 0 0.8 now 0 0.801 so now still if i want to do right so if i am not satisfying so now again i am updating the uh, theta value again i want to update the theta value in this theta value now again i am updating new theta so this new theta will be used for the next iteration the next iteration is 5 fifth iteration in the fifth iteration already theta new is now calculated so with new theta and already uh, features available now predicting the output in this predicted output again i am getting the 0 0.802 so now you look at that the iteration number uh, 5 iteration number 4 and iteration number 3 all are close to each other the output value is 0 0.8 close to each other so i can stop the algorithm so so this is the process of convergence this is the process of convergence each I, I, until getting two continuous or three continuous uh, same value similar values we can uh, keep on iterate that maximizing by maximizing by i mean by updating the parameters so that is the process is called convergence so em algorithm can be used whenever data set is having missing data then at that time we uh, em algorithm can be used and also this is the basis for unsupervised learning like uh, clustering algorithms uh, the em is using for uh, calculating the parameters in hidden Markov model and Gaussian mixture model and uh, we can uh, use the uh, EM algorithm to find latent variables like what I explained in the heart disease in the previous slide. Thanks for watching.